Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Today, we're of course going to talk about the new Rolex releases, and this is going to be a short little video. But, before we get started, customary wristwatch check. Today I'm still wearing my Gerard Perigo Laureato Evo 3. Back from service, going to be enjoying it for a few days. And also guys, go check out DelrayWatch.com. We just got in a Rolex 16610 Submariner M serial. Full box, full papers. This one's a rare one. Go check it out. We also got in a date just 41 millimeter box papers jubilee bracelet blue dial from Rolex. For you Rolex lovers, this one is the least expensive one out there. And a very cool Panerai Bronzo. Panerai's most in demand model and also the cheapest one on the market at the moment in absolutely fantastic condition. All at DelrayWatch.com, link in the description below. So guys, Rolex today released their new models, uh, you know, during Watches and Wonders. And we all know Rolex very rarely is revolutionary, and they didn't disappoint this year once again. So why don't we break down a little bit what's come out. So of course, a few new dials for Datejusts, a new dial for a Yachtmaster, okay, nothing special here. Then they came out with the yellow gold yacht master on rubber. Who, you know, hoo ha! It's already in rose and white. The Air King, uh, slightly updated. So the old one was discontinued. The new one has a reworked uh, dial. You know, more legible, luminescent. The dial slightly switched. The case is updated. I actually, like the new case. Thinner lugs, different crown guards. It makes it look more athletic. They called it. I don't dislike this. Uh, I think it's a, it's a handsome watch. And then, of course, the left-handed GMT Master II. So, let me just say, love the new bezel, love the color scheme, good-looking watch. But left-handed? Left-handed? Really? Left-handed. I mean, it's cool to have a few options for the left-handed people out there, but for 99% of the population, this is just going to look stupid. I mean, people are going to buy it because it's just a quirky watch, but Panerai that's made a few left-handed models, I mean, those look stupid, having the wrong the crown on the wrong side. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess, I, I'm not really to hate, but what they did is they just turned the case upside down, drilled the crown on the other side, and here you go, a new watch. And when I read the Rolex description, the case and movement have been reworked. For precision timekeeping to move the position of the crown. You moved the case upside down, Rolex. You moved it upside down. That's what you did. Moved it upside down, put a new reference number on it, and there you go. I mean, I'm not a watchmaker, so I can't for sure tell you if it has been reworked, retooled for precision timekeeping. But as far as I know, they just slapped that case upside down. Crown guard in a different place. Drilled a new hole. There you go. Hell, I'm surprised Rolex didn't use their old cases and just chop off the crown guard altogether for some cost cutting. Wouldn't put it past them. But yeah, I mean, am I... Listen, could they not have put this bezel on, on a GMT Master II with the crown in the correct position? I mean, yes, the, the switching of the, of the crown, you know, making a left-handed watch, it's quirky. It's certainly more interesting, but I certainly don't want to wear it. I actually like the GMT Master too. I like this color scheme, but I want the crown to be on the correct side of the watch. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I mean, if, if people are really excited by this, I, maybe I'm just jaded. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Is this disappointing? Is this exciting? You know, after waiting in a frenzy for weeks to see what Rolex would release, me knowing very well that they would disappoint, as they do 85% of the time. Do you agree? Is this a home run for Rolex? I don't know. And personally, I barely care. Anyway, guys, keep checking out Watches and Wonders. A bunch of other companies are releasing some very, very interesting pieces. Moser, Kick-Ass, Patek Philippe, Tudor. That's going to be a whole other video. I actually like, you know, once again, nothing revolutionary, but certainly more interesting. But Rolex, hey, I'm just making this video for you guys. Take care.